So this topic is on rerun assemblies. Rerun assemblies is pretty nice because as you, as you may know, when you take off an assembly, like this slab line grade area, you have filled in a, very, a variety of dimensional variables. Also, when you did the takeoff, you may have selected a number of specification variables. So if you did the slab assembly takeoff, at some point you may have chosen slab concrete 2000 PSI. So let's go through the process. We'll do the takeoff and then we'll do a rerun. So first of all, I'm going to delete this existing assembly here. I'm going to add in new assembly. I'll use the same one from the database. So go to concrete, flat work, slab on grade area. These are the specification variables. Um, before I've always chosen the default, but so let's go ahead and leave that as the default. The uh, Concrete will leave as 2,000 PSI. When I rerun the assembly, I'm going to change the concrete strength. So let me show you how that works. Click accept, and I'm going to accept all these picks. Finish up my assembly. I'll put in uh, depth of concrete 6 or 22 because. And I'll add that in here. So let's say I've decided, you know what, I want to rerun this. Um, I may want to make some different choices than I did before. I can right click up in here and go to rerun assembly. Gives me an option to preserve fields or leave them. I'll just click on the default there. Um, and I get back into my spec variables and let's say, you know what, I really wanted the 3000 PSI concrete and uh, everything else is fine. So we'll go ahead and finish that. You can see the changes, that's what the screen shows. So this is the original assembly, new assembly, and the green triangle shows you the changes. I've done a rerun. My concrete is now the 3000 PSI concrete instead of the 2000 PSI.